Hi, I'm Rob from CKX, and here today we're going to talk to you about the all-new helmet from CKX for the adventure market, the Atlas. CKX is a company that is born in the north. They are mostly known for their snowmobiling helmets, but they have decided to design their very own adventure helmet from the ground up, keeping some of the features that everyone loves from their snowmobiling helmets, such as the Titan that you see there behind me. Many adventure helmets for companies are born from MX helmets that they simply have put a visor on and transformed it into an adventure or dual sport helmet. Uh, this does pose some issues because the features that make an MX helmet good off-road don't necessarily translate to on-road, things like the peak and airflow. So I'm going to show you a few features in this helmet's design uh, that have been designed to improve on those aspects. One thing that's usually unique to an adventure helmet is the peak of the helmet itself, but the peaks do pose a lot of problems. If you've ever ridden them, and I've ridden them for the past 15 years, the big problem is airflow. Um, when you're riding on highway conditions, let's say, there's a lot of pull from the air uh, on the helmet itself. Now, to combat this, they have designed this helmet to one, with the peak being on it, have a massive amount of airflow, so there's actually a huge gaping hole here so that the air can flow through it very, very easily. Uh, and secondly, this is an actual quick release. And what I mean by quick release is just literally with your two fingers, press the button and it pops off. So when I was riding uh, and I'd get to a long stretch of tarmac, I would simply pop this off, throw it in my box and then pop it back on. It goes on just as easily as it came off. You simply place it on the helmet and pop it back in and you're good to go. Now, I've never ridden another helmet that had this, but I did have a chance to try this helmet and I thought that feature was incredible. Now, even though helmets I've had in the past have had simple mechanisms, maybe one screw, let's say, that simple mechanism was enough for me to basically never take it off and just ride it for years as is. But when I was riding this helmet, I actually found that I would just literally pop it off, throw it in my bag or box, and then pop it back on when I wanted it. So, uh, another thing with their Peak is not only does it have airflow, and is removable, but they have other unique features to it as well. So it is adjustable on the fly with no tools. You can adjust it down or up just using your hands. And also another feature that I haven't seen is that the peak is actually extendable simply by pulling it out with your hand. And so you have an extendable and adjustable peak on the fly with no tools. In addition to the multiple airports this helmet has is something that's very unique to this helmet, which is the opening of the muzzle using a quick release mechanism. This panel here is also removable, so you'll have this big massive space here for air to flow into the helmet. The grill that you see here that is installed uh, is easily removable. You simply pop it out and then you just have a big gaping hole, which of course increases airflow unlike any helmet I've ever used. And I also enjoyed the feature just simply for talking to other riders or having a snack or having, you know, drinking from my Camelback. It was a feature that I actually used all the time. To talk a little bit about the lens of this helmet, I found the field of vision to be excellent. Uh, when looking forward, I couldn't see any obstruction of the helmet itself in my peripheral vision. The lens that you see on it now is the clear lens. That's the lens that the helmet comes with. It also has available as an option a smoke lens, a clear pin lock lens, a smoke pin lock lens, and a photochromic lens that adjusts on its own to different daylight conditions as well, which is an excellent feature. Another option available on this helmet is the rapid clip system. That is to be used with CKX's 210 goggles. As you can see right here, it simply clips on both sides and clips off. Uh, however, you can use your favorite goggle, uh, full strap goggle, as of course the helmet will take that as well. And a cool feature that they have is that you can still have your lens on, your visor on, when you have both of these different goggles on the helmet. So you can still close it. They've left a space there just for that. So there's no need to remove your visor when you want to pop your goggles on. So the visor of this helmet is removable, but unlike most helmets, it doesn't require tools to do so. It uses the same quick release mechanism as is used for the peak to pop the visor off. So super simple, toolless, easy. The designers of this helmet had versatility in mind. The helmet basically has three different personalities. It has adventure, road, and enduro, all interchangeable, all very easy to do. For the uh, traditional adventure setup, as you see here, we have the visor and the peak on. For road, simply take the peak off. And for enduro, 
take your goggle of choice, lift the visor, and put it on. So a very simple way to go between the different personalities that this helmet has to offer. So this helmet is able to adapt to any type of terrain that you might encounter, anything from road to gravel to fire roads to tight trail. On the fly, you can switch this helmet to work for you. It's important to mention that this helmet meets or exceeds the new ECE 22.06 certification. Coming in at 1,700 grams, this helmet is comparable to other helmets in its category. And if you want to shave off a little bit of extra weight, you can buy the carbon version, which will shave off another 100 grams as well. So this was just a general overview of the CKX Atlas helmet. If you want more information on it, go to ckxgear.com and check that out. Thanks for joining us today and ride safe.